everyone, welcome back to yoga. My name is Ashley and today we are going to unplug and do some nice gentle yoga. So we're just going to get right into it. So without further ado, feel free to close your eyes or gaze at a point out in front of you and connect to your breath. Just become aware of how you're feeling, checking in with yourself as we do before we begin moving. Just be aware of how you show up to your practice today. Not forcing yourself to be any one way in particular. If you're feeling anxious, that's allowed. If you're feeling angry, that's allowed. <laughs> or if you're feeling happy, that's allowed too. Just allow yourself to be here just as you are. Use this as an opportunity and a guide for your practice. Take a full breath in. And as you exhale, let it out with a sigh. And gently open your eyes. Please begin in child's pose. Bring your big toes together, your knees wide, and then rest your forehead, tip of nose on the floor, arms out extended. Always feel free to prop yourself up on your forearms and just drop your head instead, or use a block under your head. Any props you need, always feel free to grab them. Relax your arms and just let your armpits kind of fall toward the floor. You can push your forehead down and forward so that the skin of your forehead moves toward your nose. This can be a very calming maneuver for the nervous system. And I invite you to take super, super slow, deep and long breaths. Walk your hands slowly back towards your ears. Move your shoulders away from the floor, then lift your chin and slowly sit up. Come up to all fours, hands and knees. Then cat and cow, bringing your tailbone through your legs, drawing your navel towards your spine, reaching your upper back all the way up toward the ceiling, chin towards your chest. And reversing, lengthening your spine, lifting your lower back in and up, lifting your chest, lift your chin. And just continue at your own pace with your breath. Slow, steady movements. And after a few rounds, feel free to move your spine more organically. Maybe swing your hips, roll your shoulders, do crazy eights. Feel free to close your eyes and just allow the wisdom of your body to move through you. spine. Take your hands under your shoulders, bring your toes together, knees wide, and then take your right arm open to the right. Swing your right arm under your left arm, bring your right shoulder and your ear to the floor. Stay working here or walk your left hand forward and to the right. Push left hand down and forward, right hand down and back. And breathe here. Square your hips by pushing your left hip gently back right hip gently forward. Walk 
walk your left hand back. Slowly untwist, reach your right arm open. And lower your right hand to the floor, lift your left arm all the way up to the left. Swing your left arm under your right arm, shoulder and ear to the floor. Stay working here or walk your right hand forward and to the left. Push right hand down and forward, left hand down and back, right hip back, left hip forward. Walk your right hand back, push down through your hand to reach your left arm all the way open to the left, and lower your hand to the floor. Come into a downward facing dog, curl your toes under, lift your knees up, press your thighs back, always feel free to bend your knees, and just take some time here to stretch out your spine. The more evenly you push forward through your hands and back through your feet, the lighter your hips will become. The more buoyant the pose will feel. Feel free to roll your head around a little bit, shake your head no. You can open and close your mouth to help your jaw relax. Lower your knees back to the floor, and then lower all the way down onto your belly. Take your fingers wider than your mat, level with your shoulders, and turn your fingers just a little bit outward. Take your feet about hip distance apart, then move your shoulders back, push through your fingers, move your ribs away from the floor, push your tailbone down, and then slowly elevate your torso, lift your chin, and hold here. You can either stay still or do dancing cobra where you do circles in one direction. Do connect to your breath. After a few circles in one direction, go the other way. Really good for kind of flossing out the shoulder area and upper back. Once you've finished a few rounds on each side, lower all the way to your belly and rest your forehead or your, your head on your arms. Take your head off of your arms. Take your right hand like cobra pose next to the right side of your ribs and then take your left arm to the left palm flat. Roll onto your left hip while you pull your left shoulder back away from the floor and try to land all the way on your outer left hip, staying here or lift your right leg up, bend your knee and step your foot to the floor behind you. If that's too much, always feel free to go back to the previous area. Maybe lower your head to the floor. Just hang out here. Slowly roll back up. Come back to center. And switch arms so your right arm is to the right. Palm flat, move your shoulder back. Left hand next to your chest. And roll onto your outer right hip. Scoot your hip slightly forward. Do or don't lift your left leg, bend your knee. Step your foot to the floor behind you. Maybe drop your ear to the floor. Slow, steady breath.
slowly untwist, come back to your belly, back to center, and then gently push yourself back up to your knees, curl your toes under, bring your knees and ankles together, and then sit back towards your heels. Slide your knees back just a few inches, interlace your fingers in front of your heart, take your fingers, your palms face up on top of your head, then do or don't straighten your arms. And breathe here. Lower your hands to the floor. Take the tops of your feet to the floor. Squeeze your knees and ankles in. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Squeeze shoulder blades toward each other. Maybe work your arms straight. Then round your spine. Bring your forehead to or toward your knees or in front of your knees on the floor for less rounding of the spine. And slowly come back up. Release your arms. Shift to your left so your feet are at your right. And it'll look like so you'll have your right ankle on top of your left arch here. And then just scoot your left inner thigh to the left with your right hand so your left sitting bone is down. Take your right hand to your left knee or you can flip your palm up and move your fingers underneath your knee. Then take your left hand behind you, wrapping your arm behind your waist. Move your shoulders back, lift up through your sternum and press down through your sitting bones. Then maybe turn your gaze to your left for a full twist or for the classical form, gaze down at your knees. You'll notice a couple of different types of stretches in the neck when you try one gaze versus the other. This is Bharadva Jasana. Untwist. Swing your legs forward, then to the other side. Take your left foot on top of the arch of your right foot and just use your left hand to slide your right inner thigh to the right, right sitting bone down, and then take your left hand either to your thigh or point your palm up, hook your palm under your knee, then wrap your right arm behind you, lift your lower back in and up, lift up through your sternum, and maybe gaze to the right or gaze down toward your knee. Take slow, steady breaths. Gently untwist, extend your legs forward. And from here, take your left knee to your left, and then rotate your inner thighs down, outer hips up on both legs. Take your right hand inside your right knee, palm flat, and then just start to twist your torso to the left. Take your left arm up beyond your left ear, palm pointing toward the floor, and then slide your right hand to the right toward your right foot. Push right hand down and away from you. Maybe take your forearm to the floor. If you can go a little lower and then twist more to the left, move your ribs back and maybe gaze beyond your shoulder. Nice big side stretch. Inhale, come all the way back up. Switch sides, take your left leg forward, your right knee to the right. Rotate inner thighs down, outer hips up, both legs. Then take left hand inside your left leg, palm flat, twist to your right. Take your right arm up, and then beyond your ear, palm pointing to the left. Then slide your fingers more toward your heel. 
Maybe take your forearm to the floor. Reach back through your right hip as you extend through your right arm. Turn your torso more toward the ceiling as you move your right ribs back. Inhale, slowly come back up. Extend your right leg forward. Come all the way onto your back. We're going to be on our backs the rest of class. So from here, go ahead and cross your right ankle on top of your left knee. Clamp your heel toward your hip and then widen your right knee to the right. Stay here or draw your legs in toward your torso. Interlace your fingers around your left thigh or your shin. Then maybe pull your legs in a little closer. Maybe rock side to side on the right side of your back. Ujjayi breath can be quite nice for the slow, steady practice. Can help really chill out the nervous system. Ujjayi breath is the breath that sounds like an ocean or like you're fogging up a mirror, but keeping the mouth closed and breathing in through your nose, out through your nose. Take your right arm out from underneath your right leg and just grab onto your right big toe with your first two fingers and thumb. And drop your left foot to the floor, keeping your knee bent. Point your sole of your right foot up. Kick your right leg towards straight. Always feel free to use a strap or a scarf around your foot instead if you want more of your hamstring stretch. And take your left arm along your left thigh. Do or don't extend your left leg straight. Keep reaching both legs longer. Don't hold your breath. And open your right leg to the right. Move slowly. Try aiming more of the outer edge of your right foot toward the floor for more inner thigh stretch. Keep extending your left leg longer as a stable point. And slowly lift your leg back up. Switch your hands so your left hand is outside your right foot, right arm to the right, and just let your leg drop over to the left. Rotate your outer right hip away from your right shoulder. Move your right shoulder back. Keep your chin slightly lifting away from your chest. Twist. And then gently drop your right foot to the floor. Cross your left ankle over your right knee. Widen your left knee to the left. Clamp heel towards your hip. Then draw your legs slowly towards you. Maybe grabbing onto your thigh or your shin of your right leg. And do or don't rock side to side on the left side of your back.
grab onto your left big toe with your first two fingers and thumb of your left hand. Drop your right foot to the floor. Point your left knee toward the floor, foot toward the ceiling, and extend your leg toward straight. Maybe extend your right arm beyond your right leg. Do or don't straighten your right leg along the floor. Push both legs longer. mind begins to wander, just gently bring it back to the present moment, back to the pose. Slowly open your left leg to the left, aiming your outer leg toward the floor. Reach your right arm still toward your right knee. your leg back up, cross your leg over your body to the other side, switching hands, tack your left shoulder back, push foot in the hand, hand in the foot, keep your legs long. your leg back up, lower your foot, bend both of your knees, take your feet as wide as your mat, take your arms out wide to the side, you can go like airplane arms or like soro cactus arms, do windshield wipers slowly from side to side, dropping your knees to one side, then lifting and dropping to the other. Going slow enough so that you feel kind of like you're rolling across all of your gluteus muscles, your booty muscles, just kind of giving yourself a release in a sense by just feeling kind of like there's a wave going across those muscles all the way from side to side. Feeling free to pause anywhere that you need a little extra time or attention. more slow, long breaths. feel like you've evened it out, drop your legs all the way to your left. Either keep your feet where they are or step your left foot on top of your right thigh, pushing foot into leg, leg into foot, extending your knee toward the wall. Hold your right wrist above your head with your left hand, 
and pull in the opposite direction. Extending a lot of length on the right front side of your body. Cross your leg, lift your legs back up, hips to center. Let your knees fall to the right. Stay working here or cross your right foot on top of your left thigh. Push foot and leg together. Then grab your left wrist with your right hand and pull up. Reaching length. Breathing into the places that feel tight or limited. Turning your attention inward more so to understand rather than to judge. Whether you're looking at your physical body or your mental health, emotional health, or spiritual health. Always looking with a desire to learn. Slowly let go of your foot, let go of your wrist, come back up, hips to center. Do a couple more windshield wipers on both sides. A bridge pose, nothing too big, just enough to even out your pelvis and your lower back. Walk your shoulders underneath you one at a time, grab onto the outer edges of your mat. And just lift your hips up. If you want to use a block under your hips and you prefer that, always feel free to do that instead of holding up with your muscles. We'll just be here for a few breaths. And then slowly lower back down. From inside your legs, grab outside your feet. Happy baby. Push your feet into your hands, hands into your feet, and gently rock side to side. Feel free to add any extra movements like bending and straightening your knees. Just allowing yourself to do whatever feels right in your body today. Slide your hands down to the tops of your ankles, pull your heels toward your sitting bones, then widen your knees out to the sides as you push your hands into your ankles, ankles into your hands. Allow your upper shoulders to relax a little bit and allow your head to be kind of dragged down toward your hips so there's like a slight traction on your neck. Use your arms to pull your legs back in. From outside your legs, grab outside your ankles, your shins, or your feet. And lift your lower back off the floor. Maybe come up to middle or upper back for a reclined intense west stretch. Urdhva Mukha Paschimottanasana variation.
and slowly lower back down. Wrap your arms around your legs, give yourself a hug. Maybe rock side to side again. Take your feet as wide as your mat, then rest your knees together. Take your fingers on your head, just spread them out across your scalp. Just give yourself a little bit of a scalp massage. You can move your fingers around on your scalp to points that feel a little bit more tender. Just gently, or as, put as much pressure as feels good for you to do today. Even a lot of times more pressure points will be around behind the ears if you made the shape of the ear behind the ear and that arc and along that bone. You might feel some tender points in there. You can also move down to the base of your skull toward your neck. Oftentimes these muscles are very tight as well. Just giving yourself a little bit of love here. Take some time again to unplug, just allowing yourself to be just as you are here and now. Being with what is as it is, and not forcing anything else to happen. Thank you all so much for practicing with me today. Have a wonderful rest of your day.